Hey guys, Josh here, and I'm here with Putty Putty. We're just going to debrief our Maldives tour now that we're back in the Highlanders camp. Um, what did going on tour with the Maldives All Blacks mean to you, right? Yeah, it was a good experience, and I was happy to do my family proud. They were, um, it was a proud moment for my family, for me to wear the jersey, and for myself as well. Yourself? Um, I was just excited to take the next step, um, going up to another level of footy and just putting the icing on the cake of a pretty awesome my 10 season. Nice for us. Um, so it took a to the tour took us to some nice places, Brazil, Chile, USA, what was your favourite place? Um, Chile, definitely, definitely Chile. Uh, I, I enjoyed the experiences there, the people there are real nice, um, real good weather and um, Creamfields is pretty good as well and uh, I really enjoyed the food actually, yeah, I'm, it's good food there. I'm going to have to agree with you there, um, they loved us and um, we certainly enjoyed being there and the culture was really good, topped off topped off with a good game and good ending, it was good. Um, how do you reckon the games like rugby itself was viewed in like country, obviously we were in countries that didn't, aren't really big um, on their rugby but... Yeah I think it's a growing sport, definitely a growing sport, they're really keen on the, the game and it was good for us to be there. Um, from New Zealand, being from New Zealand and it being a number one sport, so I think it's really growing there and they're, they're big on that. Yeah, big on yeah, and it's good to get there and like, help grow out a little ourselves. But obviously being New Zealand, we're going there and sort of helping them out a bit as well. So there was a lot of questions asked and a lot of post-game interviews and stuff, but I think it was the most exciting part of this growing up. Nice. We had a bit of spare time over there. What was the uh, memorable experience for you? Um, the easiest one is probably Creamfields. Uh, and then maybe some shopping in Chicago as well. That was that was pretty cool. Did some shopping. Yeah. Um, I'd probably have to go with the uh, NBA. NBA was awesome over there. America's big on the sports, um, and it was good to get amongst it, have a look. It was cool. Um, so, Putty, after the taste of the action last year, um, a strong looking collection of Tom Franklin, Jackson Himmelfo, uh, Jay Dicko, and Wedden. Um, all be key for you to get more games on this year. Um, I think just, just building on the campaign we had, um, there's a lot of takeaways from the Maldives camp as well, and there's a lot of takeaways from the Mighty Team Cup, so just just building from that I reckon. What about you with, with Lima gone now, how do you reckon you're going to get more damn time? Yeah, uh, there's definitely opportunity there. Uh, Marty's back and Brin's um, been in and training hard, so definitely going to try to put my best foot forward and we'll see how we go. What are you doing over the Christmas break, mate? Nah, but I had my break overseas, I was just training, you know, running, gym, um, get some time around the family, do you good, yourself? Yeah, nah, um, I'll, I'll probably go into, yeah, it'll be a lot of eating food, I reckon. <laughs> I just eat a lot of food, um, try to get bigger, try to chase my 30, and that's about it. Nice. Paddy B or Nicki Minaj? Neither. Niggas. Genders or slides? Genders. Pfizer or Care? Yep. Pfizer? Shorts or Smugglers? Smugglers. Smugglers. RNA or RB? V. V. Chop soy or fish and chips? Chop soy. Depends on the fish. Marmite or Vegemite? Or Vegemite. Marmite. Uh, cheers for tuning in. This is just catching up with me and Joshy. We are looking forward to seeing you in the 2019 season.